Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolf's Side Channel! Today with a very special topic, <coughs> I mean always special, the Ogmir Blaine Fighter. So it's basically a frontline fighter and it's even better than the Thorsa currently, because Henrik said a few months ago that the Thorsas um, get a buff but um, nothing to see here currently, That so the, the still the ongoing meta in frontline fighting is the Blaine. And with the upcoming second character slot, this is maybe a good option. So this is basically the character that that stands in the front line and fights people. You are not the fastest, but you can tank a lot of damage and you can deal a lot of damage and you can heal yourself with your Ogmium crack pipe. Yeah, you heard that right. Ogmiers are the only clade who can use this pipe. You can buy this pipe by the vendors and can heal you up pretty hardcore. So for all who are new to Mortal Online, this is a good starter build for anyone who is trying out the game because even later on you can change this build because you can adjust your age and you can adjust your height with an alchemist or with a cook. And yeah, I said cook, not cock. Ah, English. Awesome language. So for all who don't want to go into detail, it's pretty straightforward. So you select basically ch select just uh, Ogmir and Blaine and that's it. And 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 uh, you can also take the Hulgar if you're making, for example, a Fat Mage or something like that. But we concentrate on the Blaine because that is the main frontline fighter here. So we also need, very important here, the age of 30. This is very important. But even if the meta of this changes in the future, no problem, you can change that with an alchemist. With your height, the same. So if you're watching this video years later, no problem there. Just ask your guildmates about this build and it will be still there. Maybe you not just need to adjust the height or the age of that and you can change that. More height because of more damage bonus and because of more health. That is, that is basically the, the, the main stats of a frontline fighter. And of course you need full constitution, full dexterity and full strength. And all points left over, if you have points left over, you put them in Psy. For the starting you can do everything in decks so that you can run fast because the attribute points you can change that in the game pretty easily. So no problem there, you can take whatever you want basically. What, also very, what is also very important is your weight. You can also adjust your weight in game if you eat more, if you eat less. Uh, but if for this build you need 129%. This is the maximum you can get before being overweight and you're getting a lot of health points there because each kilogram is more health. But if you are too fat, then you're getting minus dexterity. Link to that build is in the description. There's a link there. You can go to the, to the mortal data site and you can configure your character there. In this pre-select there are also clade gifts included. Uh, not all clade gifts but, but the main clade gifts that a fr frontline fighter should have. If you're wondering, in game there's 131 constitution that you can have in the character creation screen and here is 133. That is because of the clade gifts. In this calculator here in mortal data, um, if you select the clade gift then it's getting added to your attribute points. So that is why there's 133 there. Maybe if you watch this in the future and you maybe have attribute points left over or something like this, then you can put them in Psy because of the magic resistance. These skills are pretty basic, it depends on what you want to do. I just included here the mounted archer as well because it's, it's, it's very awesome to farm with that build, especially as a beginner. But you can also remove the archery of this build completely and it would work perfectly. You can also adjust it. If you also, for example, want to heal yourself with bandages, not only with the Ogmir crack pipe, then you can also include anatomy here instead of one of the archer skills, for example. And you don't have to fight with clubs, especially in this, in this build, war clubs. This meta can change very, very fast. So you could equip any weapon there, basically, even halberds, because the skill points still would fit in. It also depends if you want archery in there or not. The good thing about this build is also you can completely remove the close combat in the front line and you can make a mounted archer out of this character as well. Because the damage output of a bow is not determined by the dexterity you have, it's determined by the strength you have and this character has a lot of strength. So it really depends on what you want to do and pick the skills accordingly. If you are not sure, please ask your guild about that. If you have a guild internal wiki like we have, then look in there and maybe your guild has some info about what to pick at first when you're trying to play this, this build or trying to be an effective frontline fighter or stuff like this. So basically in Mortal Online the combat is really dependent on the circumstances. 
It really depends on who are you fighting against, who is fighting with you and are there objects on the battlefield that you can use to your advantage. So basically it's unpredictable, but in most cases this character is very tanky. So you can really use them in, in, in places where others would um, instantly explode. If you have seen my glass cannon video where, where I showed the glass cannon um, Chevra character, three arrows basically and this character is down. And with this Ogmir you can really tank up to 40 arrows. It really depends also on the armor you're wearing, but you can tank a lot. Because if you're standing still, then you're even more tanky. So just in theory, building a shield ball or something like this with Ogmirs is, is, is a very, very awesome idea. But this is stuff that people, people think about the game and stuff like this, that you can fight informations and stuff like this. No. Mortal Online Combat is not working like that since I've been playing, so I'm playing since 2009 and no, get this idea of formation combat out of your head, it's not gonna work, it's an MMO with random people not military drilled, this is not going to work. But basically if uh, formations would be possible and people would actually fight like that, then this character build is the best choice for that. But if we are going back to reality, you can also use this character perfect in a one versus one setting, the only character that is better in duels than this character is the Thorzar. The Thorzar is unbeatable at 101s. If, if the player skill is equal, which is never the case because two different human beings can't have the exact same skill level. So no. I've also seen some people who playing this character smaller because of the smaller hitbox and on the battlefield you're not you're not sticking out so much and because you are harder to hit basically but this is again this is something that you can you can change later on you can change height you can change your age and stuff you don't need to need to make a, another character for that i've also seen some uh, that have um, beast mastery stuff with them as an as an ogmir frontline fighter without having mage powers this is not not the best idea in my opinion because you can't heal the pet very effectively and fast because you need to have veterinary and then you're going to the pet and using the bandage and this is all a little bit complicated especially when you are basically at the front line um, maybe you're at the back line and you have um, some uh, beasts that, they can, that can spit acid or something like this then uh, maybe maybe this is working but if you're in the back line then then maybe you're an archer in the back line and th this could maybe work but it also depends on your personal preference so basically leave your thoughts in the comments would be really awesome and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe would be really awesome by the way and uh, share this video <laughs> would also be awesome <laughs> and special <laughs> Special thanks to all the supporters, of course. Come the Professor Olocario, Ono, Spartanax, Kulobolo, Giovanni, Vargas, Real Map, Push, Begrita, Juno, and the others, of course. Whew, it's getting faster and faster each time. Nice. So yeah, uh, Blaine Hart. Uh, 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 not make you Blaine Hart. Uh, I mean, I mean, make party hard. Make party hard. <laughs> See you all next time. Uh, goodbye.